Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning drive. I'm your host, Bill, of the Fountain of Truth. Today's session, today's video, today's topic is going to be about CNN tough guys. That's right, tough guys. All right, that's all the time we have today. I appreciate you guys watching the show. Yeah, it would be that quick because there aren't any CNN tough guys. How about CNN tough talkers? Yes, we can talk about that. So, there was a CNN anchor who got himself up into a little confrontation recently. Somewhere, I'm going to assume, in New York. And out in public. I think he was out with his family or whatever. And some guy came up to him. I don't know the whole I don't know the whole story. The videos and stuff they don't show what actually happened, but so according to this anchor, the guy called him Fredo. God. Man, I, last time someone called me Fredo. Woo! Man, it was go time. All right. I don't even know what the fuck Fredo is. Okay, you can call me Fredo. And, yeah, all right. Supposedly, it's an Italian slur. I, none of my Italian friends or any Italian people that I even see say that it is a slur. It doesn't even come close. He equated it to, to the N-word. Okay. Well... I thought there was other Italian slurs, or that, you know, there were Italian slurs. I only know one Italian slur, just like us Irish could be, uh, uh, or I'm also Scottish. I don't know what the Scottish slur is, but uh, for the Irish, it would be like mix or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But uh, anyways, it from what I have seen and heard and researched, uh, Fredo is just like calling someone a nobody or, you know, a, someone who's worthless or whatever. Um, it's definitely not a call to arms, you know, time to get all riled up and, and get in someone's face. Well, the point of this uh, topic here today is that that same CNN anchor told that kid on the DC mall in the MAGA hat, he said that that kid could have de-escalated it and should have just walked away. The kid who was just standing there minding his own business, having fun with his other school, you know, peers, had some, uh, had a Native American guy come up to him banging a drum, which still is no... I, you know, I, there was nothing wrong with that, uh, even, you know, as far as I'm concerned, but still the guy was banging his drum and he gets right in the kid's, you know, face, whatever. Uh, and the kid just calmly sits there and stands there and doesn't say anything, doesn't do anything, just, if anything, smiles and just lets the guy keep doing what he's doing, you know. And the CNN anchor says that he should have walked away, Okay. He was provoking this. This is where the hypocrisy comes into play for a lot of these guys. Um, it seems to be a lot of the liberals, a lot of people on CNN, uh, for the most part, they're all hypocrites. And you guys need to wake up to it. And PR, I won't say you guys, people in general need to wake up and just call bullshit. When you see bullshit, call a hypocrite when you see a hypocrite. A hypocrite. So... This guy says Fredo, and he's all in his face telling him, you know, he's going to fuck him up. He's going to push his shit down the stairs. He's going to end him or whatever. He's going to mess him up, you know, and he's all in his face. So he couldn't do at whatever his age is, 55 or whatever, he couldn't do what he was telling a 15-year-old boy to do. That's hypocrisy.
meritocracy, folks. What he needs to do is get on get on the air and he needs to apologize to that MAGA kid that kid at the DC mall I, I, I can't remember his name and he needs to apologize because it's really hard to do that sometimes as he has proven and especially when you don't even know that you need to do it when you're not being provoked and you're just standing there it's hard to walk away when you have no reason to walk away. I mean, it's, you know, uh, it's ridiculous. Um, so, you know, that's kind of, that's my topic for today. Is, uh, it's, it's, it's a quick one. And you guys can, you can look it up. I mean, I'm sure if anyone watches any of mainstream media, you'll, you'll see this and you'll see the clips. And all it is, these, you know, he's, CNN's ratings... They're tanking. They're doing terrible. So that means, I'm sure his ratings for his show or whatever are doing terrible. His credibility is taking hits left and right, just like a lot of uh, CNN uh, anchors and reporters are. And it's for things like this. And it's not just the, the mainstream media anchors. It's a lot of the liberals in general, even you know in Congress. They're hypocrites. And they're hypocrites because too many people don't realize it. They don't hear them just contradict themselves and say the opposite a year ago, two years ago, four years ago. And they won't own up to it. You can even show them the video of it and they won't own up to it, you know. Um, so, anyways, that's all I had today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.